Just wanted to say welcome and thank you for joining us. And we wanted to thank Mike for joining us today, too. We're just thrilled to have you um, here at Mind Plus Neurology. Our goal is to give exceptional clinical experience. But in addition to that, we like to be here to support you in all of the ways that benefit your overall health and well being. So, uh, mindful movement is just a little piece of that puzzle. So we're pleased to announce that we're going to be hosting one of these mindful movement sessions each month in 2023. So this will just be the first one, but there'll be 11 more to go. And we do have two of them that are going to be in person. So more details to come on that. Absolutely. So whoever's brave enough to go in person but it, I know it can be helpful to to know if you're doing the moves correctly so um, a few things to keep in mind um, we're recording this session and it'll be available to you to refer back to we're going to host it on our YouTube page um, and I'll be sending out a link via email to that um, so you can go back and re-watch it if you ever wanted to um, and also, we're going to ask that we mute ourselves while the yoga session is going on, just so we're not, there isn't any other distractions, um, you know, freeing the flow. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, and with that, I'm going to hand it over to you, Mike. And if you wouldn't Thank mind you. giving our members a brief introduction about yourself and your studio and what we can expect from our session tonight. Perfect. We'll do. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. It's really cool to support Mind Plus Neurology. Um, my name is Mike. Uh, my wife and I own Collective Flow, and we are a yoga studio on the east side of Milwaukee, uh, right near the Urban Ecology Center here, right on uh, Riverside Park. I, I tell people if they know where Oakland Euros is, we're right around there. That's always kind of a good starting spot. Um, my wife and I are also functional medicine health coaches, so we align really well with, you know, taking this approach of trying to look at the overall healing and sources of inflammation of the body and start to bring it down and all the pieces kind of work together. So, um, you know, it's just, it, it means a lot to be able to team up with specialty, uh, specialists uh, like the team that you have here and, and excited to offer our talent and our, um, our passion to the, to the mix as far as the, the healing part of your journey goes. Um, as far as today goes, this is going to be about a 40, 45 minute uh, restorative flow session. So meaning it's all going to be um, on our backs, uh, laying on the ground, light movement, some breath to movement um, uh, will be involved, but it's going to be mostly breath work, uh, mostly working through and releasing some of the inflammation uh, through the thoughts and, um, and opening up some of the main stressor points um, where we hold a lot of the stress, the shoulders, the neck, the hips. Um, so just giving you an opportunity just to kind of let gravity, your breath do the th do its thing. And uh, just release some of the internal pressure that we sometimes build up throughout the day. And without further ado, we will start off in our final resting pose or Shavasana. So we'll make our way to our mats. Uh, we're going to be laying down flat and let's take our time easing into it. We're going to take up as much space as you as feels good tonight. So just laying down flat, flip your palms up towards the sky. I will cue up a little bit of music here, just have in the background and we will take off. And let's just start off everyone all together. Just unwrinkle anything underneath your shoulder blades, flatten out the skin. And once you feel settled in this lying position, tuck that chin slightly in towards your chest just by a centimeter or two, just to elongate your spine and run the length of the mat. Once you feel settled, just take a big inhale through the nose. Big open mouth exhale, side out. Two more just like that. Big breath in. Full exhale. One more time. Full breath in through the nose. And just let it go. Take some time here. Just close down the eyes. Settle into your space. Let gravity do its thing here. Before we go any further, if you come to our classes, this is a big part of our practice. We want to set our intention for the next 40, 45 minutes. What brought you here tonight? You decided that this was worth your time, this was worth your energy. Why? Have this small conversation with yourself to start class. 
Are you looking to feel a certain way at the end of this session? Looking to release anything? Looking to gain anything? Our minds think like a heartbeat. We first just need to give it space just to think your thoughts. And then challenge yourself to bring it to a word or a phrase, something that's resonating with you in this moment. That as your mind naturally drifts for the next 45 minutes, this word anchor is gonna bring yourself back here. And then when you're ready, just come right back to that breath. Really dial in on that belly button. Notice the rise and the easy fall. Find a lightness in your breath. We're gonna start off by doing a nice full body scan, taking our time at the crown of your head, just dial in all your attention. And just slowly start to shift down and relax the muscles in your forehead. And then release the cheekbones. Start relaxing your jaw. Just keep going a little bit at a time, further south. Relaxing the shoulders. Use your exhales as the cue just to release any tension you might be holding on to. Keep moving down the arms, past the elbows. And imagine all that inflammation in your upper body just leaving the soles or palms of your hands. Just clearing up your body for healing, whatever that means to you. Whatever you came here tonight for. Come back to that belly. Notice the rise and fall. And continue your journey south. Use that exhale just to let go of any tension in your hips. Notice that the toes fall open naturally with gravity. Relax the hamstrings and quads, the front and back of your thighs. Like a sponge, pulling all that stress, all that inflammation out of your body with you, pass through the, the knees, over the shin. Notice and just visualize all that stress leaving the soles of your feet. Does that stress, does that inflammation, does it have a color? When you feel settled, just come right back to that breath. Spend the next six full rounds, just completely engrossed with the inhale and the exhale. Notice your natural pace, your natural depth, the natural rhythm. If the mind has drifted, just acknowledge it and come right back here. Take one more full breath in through the nose. Full, open mouth, exhale, let it go. And start to make some super small movements. Just wiggle, wiggle a finger or wiggling the toes and just make these micro movements. Just to notice how your body feels as it slowly starts to awaken. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Maybe touch each thumb to the fingertips. Notice how smooth or coarse it feels. Make a nice tight fist and start to roll out your wrist. Start to bend at the elbows. Maybe start to let the gaze go over one shoulder and then the other. Massage the back of the head out on your floor or on your mat. Start to windshield wiper the toes, the knees. 
and eventually come to a big morning stretch. So bring your legs, legs together, arms reach overhead. Maybe you interlace your fingers and flip the palms of the wall behind you and just reach, take a big inhale, bring life back to your body. And then on your exhale, just bring your right knee in towards your chest and just stay here. Give it a squeeze. And just draw some small little circles with this right knee on the ceiling. Notice how this hip feels. We're gonna isolate your body just one little section at a time so you can really dial in. Do your recon on your body. Notice how each little section feels on its own. Make these circles slowly bigger and bigger. And then maybe you pause and just go the opposite way. Does it feel loose? Feels tight? Dial in, where exactly? Force your mind to stay totally here in this moment. When you're ready, bring that knee in towards the chest. And then just take a few ankle rolls to the right. Three big passes over in one direction. And then three big passes over in the opposite. And then find some stillness here. We're gonna hold that knee in towards our chest to start. And on your next inhale, just bring it outside your rib cage. A so single-sided butterfly here. Just a little bit of space to play around. You can pull the knee up towards your armpit to see how that feels. Maybe you pull it down in a way to create space. And then on your next exhale, we're gonna to go to a supine twist. We're gonna bring this knee through our midsection and then all the way over to the left side of your space. We wanna stack our hips here. So you're thinking right hip on top of the left. So sometimes it feels good just to kind of pick that bottom hip up and pull it to the right side of your space. And then you have your option here. You can keep this left hand outside of your, your right knee, just guiding it to the ground to deepen the twist. If you want to make it more restorative, just let the leg be. Let your arms go out wide, flip your palms up to the sky. And if it feels okay, let your gaze slowly go over that right shoulder. Just stay in this twist. Come right back to that belly breathing. Notice if the inhales are a little bit harder just with this twist, but the exhales are a little bit easier. Scan from your right shoulder across your midsection to the tip of that right knee. Just try to notice what your body's trying to tell you. Every exhale, use it as a reminder just to let go. Let go of tension. Let go of any thoughts that don't serve you. And just be. Counting breaths helps you keep you here. We're gonna be here for another six rounds of breaths, full inhales and exhales. Just find a lightness with that breath. Notice your natural cadence. Notice where your thoughts are at and just guide them right back here. With your next breath in, bring your gaze up to the sky, bring your right knee back through center. Now on your exhale, bring your left knee to meet the right. Just draw some circles on the sky with your knees. Just massage out that low back. We're gonna find some counter stretches with your low back and spine. Doesn't matter which direction you're going, just note which way it is. And then find some stillness. And we're gonna go the opposite way, draw circles. Close your eyes and just notice as you're passing across your low back, where is your body calling your attention? Are there any tension now? And maybe just pause on, draw some smaller little circles. When you feel settled, flatten out the back. Right leg goes long, left leg stays in. Same thing as the opposite side, starting off just by drawing those circles just at this knee. So now you can really dial and feel that left hip joint. Maybe there's slow swooping circles, maybe there's small, quick little circles. Eventually pause here and just reverse it out. Go the opposite way with those knee circles and notice what's different on this hip compared to the other. 
and no difference is a difference. When you're ready, find that stillness and just roll out that left ankle, whatever direction, three big spins to one way. And pause, three back the other way. Find some stillness here. Hold on to that shin with your left hand and next inhale, pull it out wide past your ribs and just stay here. Play around, see how it feels when you pull that knee closer to your armpit and maybe a little bit further away, create some space. One more inhale here. And then supine twist on the opposite side. Bring this knee through center. Cross it over and take time setting up here. Again, if it feels okay, maybe scooch this bottom right hip towards the left side of your space so your hips stack. Feel nice and solid in your lower body and then bring your attention to your left shoulder. We're gonna to try to get as close to the earth as you can. Maybe this arm goes out wide and you look over that left shoulder. And once again, you can use that right hand on top of your knee to guide it to the floor to deepen the twist or make it more restorative. Arms just go out wide. Let gravity do its thing here. Holding poses in this deep restorative position. It's all about the less you do. With your, with your exhale, just letting go of that tension. The body is able to deepen the stretch, get to the tendon, the ligament. Scan your body for tension. Forehead, jaw, shoulders, chest, hips. Just letting it go. Again, if counting breaths is supportive to your practice, we're going to spend six full inhales and exhales here. One more full round of breath in, full breath out. Slowly bring your gaze back up towards the sky. Bring your knee through center. Right knee meets the left. And once again, just take some circles on the sky. Use it as a chance to just massage out that low back. And then find some stillness here. We're gonna let our left foot fall to the ground. Right ankle is gonna cross over. In a supine butterfly or a climb pigeon here, a couple options. First option is just to grab hold of your left ankle with your left hand and just guide your right knee away from you. This might be enough to open up your right hip. If you feel like your body can go further, we're gonna take our hands, shoot them through the gap, either the back of the thigh or the front of the knee. If this is where you're at, flex all of your toes to turn the knee on and protect it. And then slowly pull your left knee in towards your chest. That's just gonna deepen that stretch on that right hip. Just find your variation. Let the back of the head lay down towards the ground. Close the eyes. And just scan this right outside hip. Three more full breaths here. Full inhale, full exhale. We're gonna release your grip, keep your legs as they are. Plant the left foot down on the ground. I'm gonna bring my arms out wide for a little bit of a bang. Scoot your hips up and over to the right side by three or four inches. And on your next exhale, we're gonna guide the right foot down towards the left side of your space. So it's that bind, bound supine twist. So the legs are gonna be locked. Bring your arms to whatever's comfortable, whatever support it. Maybe out wide to a T, maybe even going more to a goal post with a 90 degree bend in your elbow. Experiment with letting your gaze drift over that right shoulder. 
And once again, use your exhale just to remind your body to let go of any tension. Let the legs just sink to a natural spot, even if that means they unwind. Then three more full rounds here. One more full breath in, full breath out. Bring your gaze up towards the sky. Bring your knees back through center. Uncross your legs. Pull those knees in. Just switch it out right away. We're going to let our right foot fall down towards the earth. Left ankle is going to cross over. And then same thing on this side. We're going to find your variation to start. Maybe just grabbing hold of that right ankle with your right hand and just guiding your left knee away from you is enough to open up your hip. But if it feels okay, feel free to shoot the hands through to the back of the thigh or the front of the knee on this side. Once again, flex your toes to protect your knee. And then use your exhale to gently guide your right knee closer towards your chest. I'm just going to deepen the stretch. Let the back of the head fall down towards the earth. One more big inhale here. On your exhale, gently release the legs. Stay here with an inhale. On your exhale, let your legs fall. Left foot falls. Once again, just use gravity here. Let tension go, let your body just shift. Two more full rounds of breath here. Guide your attention back, big breath in, full release. When you're ready, gaze comes back up towards the sky, knees come back through center. We're gonna unwind our legs here. And go to an easy, happy baby pose. So we're just going to grab hold of our shin. Take an inhale as the knees pull wide past the ribs and just stay here. If you want to play around, you can pull the knees up towards the armpits and down and away. Close the eyes, scan the inside of the thighs. And if you're ready for your full happy baby expression, feel free to let the hands go to the edges of your feet. Kick your heels up towards the sky. And then on your exhale, just pull the knees wide past your ribs. Maybe you stay totally still. Maybe you add a little rock left to right, massage out that back. Stay here with one more big breath in. And then on your exhale, release your feet. Knees come towards center, grab the back of your thighs. And we're gonna make our way to a seated position. A couple of ways to get there, you can just rock forward and back. Otherwise falling to one side or the other, taking your time here, pushing up to a seated position from a fetal spot. Let's come up to the top of your space, whatever's comfortable. Take your time getting there and take a nice tall posture. Close the eyes down here. Big breath in through the nose. 
And on your exhale, let your right ear fall to your right shoulder. Straighten out your spine, pull the shoulders away from the ears to create a little more space, and just dump that ear down. With your eyes closed, scan from the tip of the ear through the neck to the tip of your shoulder. If this is hitting the spot, stay here. Otherwise, with your next inhale, prepare your body. Exhale, gaze goes down to the ground. Right ear stays over your shoulder. Notice that stretch. Just travel more towards the back of the neck. Again, if it's hitting the spot, stay here. Otherwise, let your gaze go up towards the sky. Keep your ear over your shoulder. And nice and easy head starts to roll back, chin up towards the sky, and just take a few rocks left to right. We'll do the same thing on the left side. When you're ready, inhale. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Straighten out your spine. Roll the shoulders down and away. Just let that ear just hang. Isolate this side of your neck. Notice how it feels. If it feels best where you're at, stay here. Otherwise, let that gaze start to go down towards the ground. Notice that travel of that stretch. Stay here if it's hitting the spot. Otherwise, gaze starts to go up towards the sky. One more big inhale here. And then chin down towards your chest and just rock left to right. Do a little moving meditation with our neck. Prepare your body with an inhale. On your exhale, left ear rolls to your left shoulder. Stay here with the breath in. Head falls back, breath out. Stay here, breath in. Right ear, right shoulder, breath out. Stay here, breath in. Chin down towards chest, breath out. We're gonna reverse it out. Stay here, inhale. Right ear, right shoulder, exhale. Stay with the breath in. Head falls back, breath out. Stay here, inhale. Left ear, left shoulder, exhale. Final time, breath in. Chin down, breath out. Take your time, let the crown of your head come up towards the sky. We're gonna inhale, arms up towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, we're gonna do a spinal twist to the right. So my right hand comes back, left hand comes forward. Let's tent into those fingers, create some space. Take a nice big inhale, straighten out your spine. And then with your exhale, start twisting from the base of your belly, one vertebrae at a time until you run out of breath. Use your next inhale, maybe straighten out a little bit, unwind. And then exhale, twist from where you left off. Follow that pace. Two more full breaths here. Twisting with your exhale, straightening with your inhale. When you're ready, nice and easy, keep your hands down low. Just start to come on back towards the center of your space. And I'm going to walk my fingertips forward, reach as far forward as you can. And then just tuck your chin in towards your chest. Do a little bit of a cat back here. Middle of your spine pushes to the back of the wall. And then nice and easy, we're going to walk our hands back underneath the shoulders. We're going to twist to the left side. When you're ready, inhale, arms go high. Exhale, twist towards the left. Left hand back, right hand forward. Tent into those fingers, big breath in. And then twist from the base of your belly, one vertebrae at a time with that exhale. Twisting with that breath. Inhale is extending. Exhale is deep in that twist. Two more full rounds here. Maybe eventually that gaze falls over that left shoulder. And then nice and easy, start to walk it back, both hands forward. And one more time, reach them as far forward as you can. Tent into your fingers and then tuck your chin in towards your chest. Try rounding the outer edges of your shoulders down to spread out through your upper back. And then nice and easy, bring those hands back underneath the shoulders. One more time, twist each way. Inhale, arms go high. Exhale, twist towards the right. Stay here, breath in. Deepen your twist, breath out. One more time, stay here, breath in. Deepen that twist, breath out. This time, inhale, arms up, circle back, square your shoulders up, and exhale, twist towards the left. Stay here, breath in. Twist, breath out. Stay here, breath in. 
twist breath out. Inhale, arms come back up toward the sky. This time I'm gonna exhale, hands through heart center. Bring my hands down onto the mat. We're gonna pull yourself up to a tabletop. So however you can get there, maybe that's rolling forward or just swinging your legs out from back uh, behind you. Let's come more to the middle of our space here. We're gonna have our hands underneath the shoulders. Knees are underneath your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide. And then on your next inhale, belly is gonna drop. Gaze and hips go up towards the sky. Cow pose, really pull the shoulder blades back. Then on your next exhale, push the floor away. Tuck your hips forward, cat pose. Inhale to your cow, big breath in. Exhale to your cat. Continue on your own breath here. Make this your own practice. Let your inhales guide your expansion. Let your exhales guide the counter stretch and start adding whatever movements feel good to you today. Just some suggestions or some things to try out. You can drop one shoulder down, drop the other. I love barrel rolling, sending my head and hips in opposite directions, kind of jump roping your spine and going in the opposite way. Maybe sending your head and hips in the same direction feels good. Get more of a lateral flexion of your spine. Doesn't matter what you're doing. I always encourage students to have their eyes closed here so you can just scan how your body's feeling. Chest, back, spine, hip, neck. Then three more full rounds of breath here, doing what feels best to you and your body. One last round, inhale to a cow or an expansion, exhale to that counter stretch. And then inhale, come to a nice neutral spine. We're gonna thread our needle here. So I'm gonna shift my weight to my right hand. Inhale your left arm high to the sky and stay here for a breath. Really pull that left shoulder back. We're opening up through our thoracic spine here. Then on your next exhale, send that hand all the way through, thread your needle. So the left shoulder is gonna come down towards your left face cheek down on the mat. Couple options here. You can keep your right hand directly underneath your shoulder for a little bit more stability and support. Another option is to walk this hand straight forward. Just close the eyes down. See if you can dial into that belly breathing one more time on this side. Nice, slow, controlled breath. Notice the texture of your mat, floor, maybe it's carpet at home. Use these physical sensations to keep you rooted here in this moment. Then one more full inhale, full exhale. Slowly start to walk this right hand back underneath your shoulder if it's not already. Root your left right palm in the ground and then inhale left arm high to the sky, come back, unwind. And then exhale left hand down to the floor tabletop. Come back to your cow pose, inhale belly drops, gaze and hips up. Exhale, cat pose, push the floor away. Two more times following your breath. Inhale, expand. Exhale, compress, counter stretch. Last time, inhale. And full exhale. Come back to that neutral spine, thread the needle on the opposite side. So I'm shifting my weight over my right, uh, left hand. Inhale, right arm high to the sky. And again, stay here. Feel that right shoulder back, open up through your chest, and then follow your next exhale, send it through the gap. So outside of your right shoulder is down on the ground, right face cheek comes down. And then find your variation on this side. That left hand is there underneath your shoulder to stabilize you or walk it forward. Maybe try to pull that left armpit down towards the earth, kind of deepen that twist and compression. Just find the spot where you feel comfortable, you feel stable. That way you can dial into some of the specifics of this moment. See if you can feel your heart beating. See if you can feel the clothes on your skin. And always come back to that belly breath. When you feel ready, nice and easy, bring that left hand back underneath that shoulder, root through your palm, and in one motion, inhale, right arm goes high to the sky, unwind, and then follow your exhale, right hand comes down, tabletop. 
cow pose with a breath in, cat pose with your breath out. Two more times, follow your breath, inhale and exhale. Last time, full breath in, full breath out. Come back to that neutral spine with your breath in. We're gonna slowly let our hips come back so we can swing our legs out in front of us. Final few little poses here for our hips and for our spine. Sitting long-legged, legs directly in front of us. Nice tall posture to start. We're gonna take this right foot, we're gonna cross it over and we're just gonna give this knee a hug. Close the eyes down. Something that we do quite often in our classes in this pose. You're giving yourself a hug. It's a great opportunity to give yourself a compliment. Eyes are closed, no one knows what you're saying. What's something that you love about yourself? Something that the world can't take away from us. Your love, your kindness, your wit, your humor, your creativity, your perseverance, your determination. See yourself in the mirror, big old smile on your face, looking happy, healthy, love. Give that person the compliment. Slowly start to bring your attention back, let the eyes slowly open. Right hand comes behind your back. Inhale, left arm high to the sky, create some space. And we're gonna hook this elbow outside your knees. Just pause here, same thing, inhale, exp extend your spine. Then exhale, twist from the belly. Use that elbow if you wanna add a little extra torque. Once you're out of breath, just reload with your inhale, maybe you unwind a tad bit. And then exhale, twist from where you left off. One more time. Final twist on this side. Slowly start to unwind. Bring your body back to the front of your space. And we're gonna step, step the right foot long. Same thing on the opposite side, just cross this left foot over. Give yourself that hug. Close down the eyes. If it felt good on the other side, give yourself that self-love one more time. Maybe it's the exact same compliment, just really driving that point home, or maybe it's something totally different on this side. It's something that you love about yourself, something that you've worked for, something that you've earned. See yourself in the mirror one more time and just tell that person I'm proud of you. That's the only opinion that really matters. And when you feel ready, slowly let the eyes open. Left hand comes back behind you. Inhale, right arm high. Then exhale, hook it outside that knee. Use your breath in to extend your spine. Exhale, twist from the base of that belly. Inhale, extend the spine. And exhale, twist. One more time, inhale, twist with your exhale. Slowly start to come on back, final time, just uncross your leg. Both legs are long, I'm gonna bring my hands behind my back and just pound the back of your knees into the ground, let's just bring some blood flow back to our lower body. And then when you feel ready, we're just gonna grab the back of your thighs or the front of your knees and just make your way back to your backside and just use that momentum, have a little fun, just rock and roll a few times and find some stillness here. One final time, just draw circles on the sky with your knees. Massage out that low back one last time, pause, go in the opposite direction. And we're gonna find some stillness here. With your next inhale, bring your forehead up towards your knees, make a nice tight ball, tense every muscle that you possibly can. And then exhale, set up in that final resting pose or where we started our class. Legs are gonna go long with the palms up to the sky. Unwrinkle the skin underneath your shoulder blades, nice flat back. And then just slightly tuck that chin in towards your chest. All together, take a big breath in through the nose. Full open mouth exhale, just let it go. Feel your body melt into the ground. Two more as a team, big breath in. Full breath out. Last time, biggest breath in yet. Full exhale. And then just come to your natural breath, your natural rhythm. 
spend the next 30, 60 seconds here with your breath. Every time the mind wanders or drifts away, just label it as a thought and just come right back and start again. Check in with your thoughts and guide them right back here if they're not already. One final time, just bring your attention right here. Just start to bring some small little movements back to your body. Maybe wiggle the nose, scrunch the face. Start to let your gaze fall over shoulder to shoulder. Come back to rolling out those wrists. Let the ankles and toes start to sway from left to right. Bend at your elbows. And one more time, come back to that morning stretch, arms overhead, toes point forward, take a big breath in. And then on your exhale, we're gonna roll to one side or the other, whatever is natural to you. Just in a brief fetal pose. And then I'm gonna push my palm into the ground and make your way up to a seated position, nice and slowly at the top of your space. Cross-legged or whatever is comfortable. We're gonna end our practice here all together. Nice tall posture, close the eyes down, roll the shoulders back. Take a big exhale. And when you're ready, inhale through the nose, arms up towards the sky. Full exhale, hands through heart center. Two more big breaths in, arms up. Full exhale, bring it in. Last time, biggest breath yet, inhale. Full exhale. Hands can stay where they're at. You can guide them up to the space in between your eyebrows. The light, the love, the energy, and focus in me. Sees that in you all. Thanks for being here, friends. Namaste.